welcome to an all new episode of AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling. I am Mr. One Two Three. I'm joined today by Commissioner Mike Young Guns and um, <laughs> Retro Rick, Rick Diesel. Retro Rick Diesel. Rick Diesel. Rick Diesel. And you know he's got that V cut shirt on today, so that we can see some of that hair that needs to be waxed off when the fans raise the money. Yeah, exactly. Dude, no, man, you you know as well as I do, they ain't gonna raise enough money. What's, what, how They're much, all broke. How we need we need a hundred dollars to get Rick Diesel's back waxed. But does that get, mean I should have been wearing a V in the back? But if we get five hundred guys, it's fans' choice. It's fans' choice. I almost put a hundred on. I'm so go, confident uh, this is not gonna happen. All right, fans, I'll almost put a hundred on it. And Just you will not see a hairless Rick Diesel. I promise you that. And if you go to Mike Young Gun on Facebook, look for the GoFundMe account. Fill that GoFundMe account up, because i tell you what, I want to see that live. That but I'm telling you, I'm tell you I, as confident as I am that it's not going to happen, I'm just as willing to do it if it happens, because it's for a good cause. It is for a good cause. It's for the uh, Mountain Valley Hospice We Honor Veteran Program. Yes. Uh, they provide yes. free coffee and recognition to all the veterans once a month here at uh, r &M. Really awesome, awesome group. They what do you think about this new set r &M got, got fit? I love this new set. I mean, we got in the same spot, but they, they actually they got us a table. I love us a thing yeah. on it. I mean, they've done good. Oh, and it's Pumpkin Spice Month, by the way. At r &M. That's right. $50 Pumpkin Spice Facial. Book funny. online. <laughs> I'm only, sorry. Only you, Rick Diesel. It's but okay. i got to have some of my Red Roof in water. That's right. The, the official, official hotel of AIWF Mid-Atlantic. I-77, exit 14. Go in there and uh, get you a room. They're they're amazing. And awesome, awesome, awesome hotel. Since we're talking about sponsors. Go in the Red Roof Inn, copy a nap. If you would like to sponsor AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling. Or nap you a cop. <laughs> if you'd like to sponsor AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling or the TV show, let us know. Contact us right here on YouTube or uh, message any of us on Facebook. We we need some sponsors. Yes. We need hats because I can't take that or and probably some that one. Glasses anymore. and Rick Diesel's attire this week brought to you by the Pot Growers Association of Colorado. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, so well, if you if you own a business that has a hat, send us a hat and we'll wear it right here on the show and maybe a shirt and some glasses. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. If I do this and this. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen women just passed out of the living room. That's, That's probably awesome. true. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. Just don't apologize for it. I stopped a long time ago. So, Reggie, what do we got to talk about today? Well, King's Hot Dogs. King's Hot Dogs. Hot Dogs. first segment, we talk about sponsors. We got to talk about sponsors. Oh, yes, we did. But you had something else that was you wanted to talk about. Sponsors first. Okay. We, we, we can do sponsors first. King's Hot Dogs. Oh, Go down and see oh. Jeff Harris. Some the Jeff best. Harris. Harris. And when you do... <laughs> Grab a couple of extra ones and bring them to the show. October yes, please do. We yes, have a live studio eat. audience right here in the R and M studio. It's free to get in. You get to sit in the crowd in the audience and ask those questions. Yes. We're going to ask them That's questions. This coming Sunday, it is twenty second at, at three o'clock. I think we should send some of our production crew to King's Hot Dogs to get us hot dogs every week. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I think and you know we we we've got a couple more that are coming out now and volunteering and helping out. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Great and guys. Thank thank them as well. Aaron's Curves of Whitful. If it comes anytime I got I got me an outfit for that show. It's awesome. Oh my Lord. It's awesome. Lord. Hope it fits. Swap shop gun and poem. Not Lord. where Rick Diesel got his guns. Uh, no. They he, got him suspended. Yeah, no. As we all know. Those come from like Thailand or something. Yeah. R and M skincare. If it wasn't for R and M skincare, we wouldn't be here today. Why are you trying to blame Ty for everything? I didn't <laughs> oh come on! He says Rick Diggle's on steroids. He got it from Thailand, <laughs> right? Right, like, like Ty Tyson. But does I steroids, did. and if you do steroids, you're from Thailand. Come on, I see the connection. It, but I haven't seen anybody from Thailand on steroids. They're all little people. No, y'all y'all so making fun like of Ty because no, he's okay. a beast. Uh, you know, R and M Promotions and Skincare. We do a. Uh, we have Facebook pages. We have an online store where you can buy AIWF advanced tickets, uh, reserve tickets. So like the you Fright Night on the 28th. That's right. Because there's going to be some people yes. there, boy. And Laurel Fort. Laurel Fort. Horse Pasture. Yep. They hung the posters up for them. Now, um, 
like I said, all you got to do is go online to rnmpromoskin.com, look at the online store and buy your tickets. If you want to pay with PayPal, we have that capability yes. as well. Um, hey, and if, if you've ever been to a show, you know if you don't reserve a seat, you, you're liable to be standing outside. Yes, yes. I'll also tell you something else. If, if, if you're watching this TV show and, and you want a better experience, of watching this TV show and Rick Diesel in all his glory, then go to Aaron's and rent you a big old TV that you can plug a, you a, a cord into and put it on big like a 50-inch TV. I actually watched That's it on a 55-inch. See? It's good. You could probably count that the came, hairs. That come from Aaron's, by the way. You could probably count see? the hairs in the V-neck over there. I'm trying to avoid that subject, so I'll let you do the counting on that one. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, just say. This week we lost a colleague, October 3rd, we lost Lance Russell, NWA Hall of Famer, US, USWA Memphis Hall of Famer, commentary and announcer for 38 years. Rest in peace, Lance Russell. And, you know, when I got into the business, I did a lot of research, and uh, Lance Russell was, a, you know, I watched as much as I could on him to yes. learn how to get in the ring and announce everybody in. Yes. It's a sad day. Yes, it was. And, and, and speaking of that, uh, don't forget, uh, at Fright Night, um, we're going to be announcing the, the AIWF Mid-Atlantic's nominees for the AIWF Hall of Fame 2018 class Yes, that's coming up. And, and, and we'll, we'll mention this again, I'm sure, on the live show. But yes. coming up, uh, I think January 20th is a tentative date yes. for the anniversary show, 26th anniversary, and the Hall of Fame. And the night of Fright Night on the 28th, we will be announcing the AIWS nominees for the Hall of Fame this year. And if you've never been to it's the packed. anniversary show, you better buy your tickets now, because I'm telling you, last year, there were people standing out in the grass trying to peek through the door. There were so many people. 26 years, though. That's a long time. It's a long time. I got kids younger than that, somewhere. You got something special going on here. Yes. Next Friday. Yes, next Friday. Sin your pacemaker? <laughs> I don't have a pacemaker. Oh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Next Friday at 8 o'clock. No. Boy, they get us some ratings on it. Yeah, God, it would. <laughs> it would. Shoot. And I thought, and all this time I thought, remember? Unpainted and unplugged. He is putting on a concert right here in the R&M Studios. It's yes. $5 for general admission, $10 for VIP. You can buy those tickets online or you can buy them at the door. Uh, it's... I've heard him sing, man. It's going to be a hot show. Yes, it will. October 22nd, live. Right, right here. Right here at R&M Studios. 22nd or 21st? 22nd. 22nd. Sunday yeah. afternoon at 3 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I thought you were just talking audience. about Sin Crowley. No, that's the 20th. I just drink your red so roof. much going on. Just drink your red roof, roof water. water. Just drink your red roof water. Mm. R&M mm. Studios, AIWF Mid-Atlantic TV Red show. roof, it'll give you the bull. Live, no. here. And no bull. Red roof. No bull. How's that? <laughs> there you go. I, oh my God. Can I get the label turned right? October 28th. Fright night. Matter, ah, better than late oh, for Matter in North Carolina. Night. Let me tell you, I, I'm counting the days. That is going to be an awesome show. Awesome show. Ghouls and Ladders Ghouls Tag and ladders match. match. There's no telling what's going to happen with that. Stairway to Hell, Sin Crowley and Kevin Thinks. Three stage match. Yes. Winner awarded by points. Yes. And you're still suspended. Yes, he is. Just thought I'd remind you. You now, know he, what? Y'all can suspend me all you want to. I think I'm going to be a bigger star right here on this TV show. You might, Somebody's got to, to, to dwarf you two. But I tell you what, it, it, it has been kind of nice. It has nothing to do with midgets. I He's been obsessed with midgets all day. Yeah, and I, wiffle ball bats. <sighs> But, you know, it has been kind of nice not having to look at that white poofy vest at the ring. Yeah, where is your vest today? It's Retro Rick Diesel Week, man. Oh, okay. okay. And no Brought to you by the Colorado Pot Growers Association. And right. no pumpkin glasses. Spider web glasses. I got spider webs. And you know what spider webs represent? Do I want to know? Lines in bloodshot eyes. Brought to you by the Colorado Pot Growers Association. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, and he is on suspension for one thing, so, you know. He it has nothing to do with the Colorado Pot Growers Association. <laughs> he is Rick Diesel, and I will not apologize for it. No. So what else we got? November 4th. Laurel Fort Rescue Squad. Yes, just that's right down the road right here, here from Hillsville, Virginia. Yeah, it is. That's and gonna be interesting. You know, oh, and, and and never mind. And what? Never mind. Okay. You know, that show has grown. It has. This is what our third, fourth, fourth show that we're doing. We went from twelve to a pack house. Yeah. I mean, the fans have times. jumped all into horse pasture. Or, or I'm sorry. Well, uh, hey, Laurel hey, they're similar because well, horse yeah. pasture did the same thing. Yes, it went it from, did. You know, our first yes. show up there, which is the next day. The next that, day. The next day. Laurel Fork, it's like a little tour. Laurel Fork on the 4th, horse pasture on the 5th. And both those shows are so similar because they both went from, you know, the first show was a curious crowd. A few people yeah. come out and then, like, all of a sudden, boom. I mean, yes. exploded. Full. Uh Poor Laurel Fork had Exploded to go. like you're back of a pickup truck. <laughs> Poor Laurel Fork had to go get extra chairs. They uh, they, they ran out of their own chairs. They had to go get extra chairs. I mean, come on. And uh, I'm, I'm I'm ignoring. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm gonna drink my red roof water. No I'm, bull. I'm, I'm ignoring and, uh, them today. Oh crap! Drop my lid. Uh, not me. I <laughs> know you still got your zombies. Every time I look over. Yeah. Now, um, November 11th, right? Atkins, Virginia. Atkins, that is a Virginia. special event, okay? It is a fundraiser for Dennis Armstrong, a firefighter at Atkins Fire Department who is battling cancer. Is the Atkins shows are... Oh, I didn't mean to mess up your notes. Are, He's got notes. That's why this thing's here, to block his notes. The Atkins shows are turning pretty big. I'm it's about damn time. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and again, I did not apologize for it. It's the internet. But... Lower Fork from from Fright Night to Atkins. Non stop action. You don't want to miss any of this from from Fright Night to Atkins because the, the fallout from Fright Night leading into Lower Fork Horse Pasture and Atkins oh. is gonna be amazing. Yes. Oh. Everything that happens at Fright Night is gonna spill over into those three yes. shows, which is a week later almost but within two weeks. Yes. There's three shows after Fright Night and everything that happens at Fright Night. Is going to be, is going to reverberate at those three shows. Yes. It's going to be not to mention our live TV show that we do. You know, we'll be able right. to talk about that exactly in between them and just action packed from beginning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a commercial break. We will be right back. Hey, Buggy Wuggy, you look like yourself. Oh, it's been a long day, brother. You want your usual? Let me have my usual, baby. There you go. Thank you, bro. Sponsored driver. He doesn't just love racing, he lives it. He got the paper! Woo! His pit crew follows him everywhere. Oddly, so does his boss. Right, right, climb that, climb that. Yeah! And his passion for racing is rivaled only by his passion for errands. No credit needed? I'll take it. Woo! Woo! Congrats. Errands makes owning easy through lease ownership, so you can own the life you want. Visit us today, 2123 Rockford Street, Suite 250, in the Forest Oaks Shopping Center, Mount Airy, North Carolina, 27030. Or give us a call, 336-783-0600. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, this year-long feud with me and Jeff Fetch will finally come to an end right here in Ivy Ho, Virginia, in a street fight. You know, Jeff, I figured you would have learned not to mess with me since I sent you to the hospital and I gave you five staples to your head. But I guess that wasn't good enough. So tonight, I'm just gonna finish what I started back in August. Tonight, X will mark the spot, your final spot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling. What's going on in the wrestling world, Rick Dixon? What's 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 happening? 
Why are you asking me? All right, I'll ask Mike. What's going on in the wrestling world? People getting beat up every day. Well, <laughs> we've, we've saw some of that ourselves. <laughs> there ain't a whole lot been happening. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing like super. No. The hell in the sale. I didn't watch I, it. I didn't watch that. I didn't watch it either. I don't watch it. <laughs> Sorry, Vince. I mean, I just don't watch it. But everybody knows I watch the old stuff. I don't watch the new stuff. Um, Starcade. Starcade is coming back. Yes. We can talk a little bit more about that. It's at Thanksgiving weekend Thanksgiving at Greensboro weekend. Coliseum, yes. where it should be. I'm interested in that. And so, but I won't go. But I'm interested that it's coming back. Yes. You I'm just going to hit the interested button on Facebook? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm interested. Interested. But I won't go. I don't watch the TV. <laughs> but, and we know Rick Diesel loves his Facebook. But the Rock and Roll Express? Dude, somebody got so mad at me the other day that they, they uh, unfriended me and blocked me so that I couldn't see what they're saying and then kept talking bad about me. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> they got days. tired of me. Uh, For two days. <laughs> They got tired of me uh, coming back and, and responding to all their comments, I guess. Yeah. So I heard their widow fee wins. Well, you know, that, that's, those key, that's those keyboard warriors that don't hide behind us, you know. But fee wins. Fee wins, that's Waskily Wabbit. Elmer Fudd. Did yeah. you spend, how much What's time, thing doing? How much time did you spend, <laughs> how much time did you spend in Colorado when you well, were Who cares trip? what time it is in New York? I'm oh, sorry, no. go ahead. How much time did you spend in Colorado when you I haven't been shirt? to Colorado. Oh. Ever, never. You got this shirt imported from, sent out here from Colorado. Probably That's on right. Amazon. Probably on Amazon. But ah, Amazon. I did see that, that Doc sponsored. Gallows and that Doc Gallows and uh, uh, what's his partner's? The short guy. Yeah, the short guy. Always um, talking about short people. They, I know, he's all, and you know, me, me being a short guy, he's always, you know, talking. <laughs> uh, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, they answered the they, Rock and Roll, rock and roll Express. Express. Is it happening? It, it is happening, Starcade. That's awesome. Starcade. Is it on Scaffold? No. Oh, no. Man, that that man, would be awesome. Break Punky in half, man. <laughs> that would be oh, awesome. Man. Halloween Havoc back in the day was that. Big old scaffold match with the Rock and Roll Express. And well, they did a star cable. They did a star cable. Yeah. Scaffold. They did. Let's see that. I can't. I don't. I don't remember what Halloween happened. I remember Starcade. Okay. Shot down with uh, with. Uh, uh, well, that was with the Road Warriors, wasn't it? That was with Midnight Express. Yeah. And Rock and Roll Express. Oh, uh, Skywalkers. Skywalkers. Okay, yes. I got you. Shot down Heat was with the Road Warriors, yeah. but it was on scaffold. Sky, and they called the Skywalker match. Yes. And. Uh, because I'm pretty sure the scaffold match with Midnight Express and the Rock and Roll Express was out of Greensboro, North Carolina, at Starcade, because it was the same night that Starcade came from Greensboro and and the Omni in Atlanta. Yes. And they they switched back and forth between the two. Yes. Yes. But I did hear some rumors. I thought about that night. I remember. I well, won. that and almost hit a tractor and trailer on the way down there. Oh. Compliments of pot growers of Colorado. I wonder how that happened, but we... No, nah, that was compliments of Jim Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Old Jim. I'd drive straight to your car and couldn't feel my feet. <laughs> I'd run my hand down my legs. Put them on the that was a crazy night, man. I ought to be young again. I did hear some rumors that uh, Aubrey Wright may have a special message for for the IWF in Atlanta. Well, you know, he's got... Do you have it on video? I do not have it on video. It don't matter. But you know he does have he does but have a pig as well. I'm seeing some chatter. 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 Hey, Facebook. I know. Oh, sh I'd pull up Facebook see if there's anything going on on there that mattered. But Aubrey Wright has that pig. He oh, by the way, if you're coming out to the live show, uh, the cell phone service here sucks. <laughs> not if you have Verizon. Just saying. Oh, okay, maybe it's just me then. But no, it's not just you. I don't have service here either. So. Not just you. You got that boobs mobile, don't you? No, I don't have boobs mobile. I have no. cricket. Oh. I have four. And what is boobs mobile anyway? Why <laughs> well, ain't that what they call it? Boost. Boost. Oh, oh. I didn't know. The only thing I ever heard about that was there's a lot of boobs. Reggie. God, I don't know. He... I don't know. Mm. They're not a sponsor, by the way. So just don't just don't but, talk about them. But now they're not a sponsor. Did but... you ever hear if Damian Wayne got mad at me for begging for hats? Did he really? No, he didn't. He I didn't. don't think okay. he has it. He has it yet. 
You hadn't heard anything? I hadn't heard anything. But we but definitely I'll need to get it. you a new hat. I'll check into it. What's wrong with this hat? Well, it, it this looks retro like it's Rick been, Diesel. Looks like it's been sat on a couple times. Really? Oh, man, this supposed to look like this. Sugar Bear would be proud. <laughs> I'm going to have some of my river water and leave that one alone. All right. Rick Diesel. Yes, sir. October 7th in Atkins. Oh, yeah. You, you I was a, there. We know you were there. You did a special interview with Scrap <laughs> Dog, <laughs> with Scrapyard Dogs. Scrapyard Dogs. It, uh, all right. <sighs> the, they, we decided, I don't know if it was me or the producer. Where's she at? Anyway. She's on vacation. That's how we got these two guys today. Oh, okay. Right, it man. takes two people to replace her. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, so I was in Atkins, <laughs> and they had talked to me about they want me to do an interview. It's, it's, they're trying to do this new segment. They're going to see if it works. Yeah. They, they want Rick Diesel to, like, interview wrestlers. Yeah. I was like, great, because, you know, I used to have a, I used to do that five yes. minutes of hell with you Rick did. Diesel. You did. I did one with Ricky Martin right yeah. after he got out of prison, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, and I've had some good ones. So I guess they was talking to me about maybe doing some interviews. And, and the first one was with Scrapyard Dog. He, and, and believe it or not, Scrapyard Dog sat down and talked to me. He'd done great. He was professional. It was, a, it was an awesome interview. It, it went off like a hit, without a hitch, like a charm. And um, and I, 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 I want to thank Scrapyard Dog, and I, I hope that maybe this this will turn into something yes. we can do more often. Yeah. So, yeah. so here for the first time ever, the interview, right? With I'll let Scrapyard. you introduce it. Y'all ain't seen it With, yet. Uh, no, I haven't no. seen it. Oh. Um, Set down interview with Rick Diesel and Scrapyard Dog. Hello, AIWF Mid Atlantic fans. Rick Diesel here backstage in Atkins, Virginia. And I am sitting with the one and only, a veteran of uh, AIWF Mid Atlantic, Scrapyard Dog. Now, I want to start off by saying, Scrap, I'm here in strictly a journalistic capacity. So, any heat we've had in the past, we, are, we just going to put it aside, right? We can do this. Me and you, man, we're professionals, right? Sounds good to me. We're going to show the people out there how this is done. All right. This is my first interview that I've done like this in a long time, so I might be a little nervous. Okay. If I start sweating, it's okay. Sounds good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I got a list of questions here I'm going to ask you. All right. <clears throat> dipping? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, unless you're Reggie. You know, Reggie dips, but it runs down his neck a little bit, and that's kind of nasty. That's, that's not good. All right. Let's get this thing going, okay? All right. So tell me a little bit about your early years when you first started out. You know, had you training and yeah, um, started got started training with um, Ranger Boy Manny Fernandez. Um, trained with him for a while, and then I moved on to uh, a guy named Josh Jerry um, and Damian Storm. So I took that was three of the main trainers I had when I got started. So you was able to take a little bit from, from each one of them to develop and, uh, your style. Yeah, and I think that's what's important that uh, every young wrestler. You know, you start out training with one guy, and then you, you take little tips and tricks from everybody, and that's what I've been able to do throughout my 18-year career. That's good. So tell me a little bit about your first match. First Who match. it was with? I mean, you know, describe it just in a few words. Uh, first match I had ever in the business was against a guy named Grave Digger. Uh, did like an Undertaker, Undertaker type thing. Uh, now, I'm assuming this was an Undertaker ripoff. Pretty much. Okay, gotcha. Um, pretty much got pounded, squashed. Uh, the reason I was on the car was somebody didn't show up, um, and the promoter needed to fill that spot. So I jumped in there and did what I could do. So, like I said, I was still in training, but um, that was my uh, first match in the business. Pretty much, like I said, just getting pounded. Just learning, stricken. Yeah, well, we've all been there. Yeah. So, give me a ballpark figure of what a gram of meth goes for in your hood? Next question. Oh, okay, let's talk about your favorite match and who you work. Um, favorite match, favorite match, favorite match. Well, it was a, as far as my favorite match overall, probably had to do uh, deal with the steel. Um, the war games match. Me, Lewis Moore, uh, who was it? 
was it four, 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 four five? Yeah, I went, there's been so many. We've yeah, done it different yeah. ways. Uh, Probably had a little Matt Houston sprinkled in there. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of everything. Uh, I think Ty Tyson was in the match. Right? One of hey, the one where you almost killed. No, that wasn't one. Is that the one no, where you almost no. killed? Him? Okay, no. just check it. Just check it. No, I think that's the one after that. Okay. But that's probably my favorite uh, match that I've had. All right, flip side of that coin. Worst match, and who is it against? Next question. You don't want to answer that? No. Okay. All right, next question. You ever thought about kidnapping a white girl? All right, moving on. Next question. Okay. All right. You got a favorite? Where, where, no, I, I, it's okay. Where you get these yeah, questions? it's all good, man. Yeah, but where'd you get these questions? It's, I, it's a good question. What's your who favorite road story? We're questions? moving on. I know, but who wrote these questions? Swiss Port Operator? Go ahead. Got a favorite road story? <sighs> ride to the show, do the match, get paid, ride back home. That's it. So everybody, any road story is good with you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they're all good for you, right? Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Good. It's the biggest name you've ever worked. Uh... I can tell you some of the, I don't know about the biggest names, but I can tell you some of the names I've, I've worked before. Rick Barbarian, Rick Sabu. Anyway, uh, worked uh, Stro. Um, I think those are three of the biggest. I ain't catching that one. That's good, man. I'm good. Keep talking. Next question. Okay, hypothetically, if Vince McMahon offered you a million dollar contract, but he asked you to do an Irish-Mexican gimmick, would you consider it? Let me think about that for a second. Scratch the ball. We only got hold so on. much time, scratch, so I gotta hold move on. on. Hold on, scratch the ball here. No. Okay, I mean, it's a million dollars. Irish-Mexican? Well, I mean, why you, can't, know, why can't you be, got a tan. Yeah, what about, what, how, come, how come it can't be Catholic? Well, if it's an Irishman or a Mexican, nine times out of ten they're Catholic. Okay. Right. I may do it again. Well, there might be a couple of Protestants thrown in there just to mix things up and, you know, in case they... Okay, that, was, yeah, that might work. Okay. Exchange clothing ideas. Um, well, uh, let's wrap it up. Tell us a little bit about your book. I know you got one book out. You yeah. got another one coming out. Yeah, I wrote, uh, <clears throat> wrote a book a few years ago. Um, highlights uh, the first 12 years of my career. Uh, the second book I'm working on is like a uh, self-help guide for young wrestlers getting into business, uh, teaching them the ins and outs uh, as far as training, uh, working matches. Please psychology. tell me you're calling it wrestling for dummies. Uh, no. Okay. Hashtag book of one one. Matter of fact, I do that. Series you got on, that thing? Yeah, yeah I see. If you follow him on Facebook, yeah. he he does that every Friday. Right? Yeah, right. And um, very instructive. Very instructive. That's that's the main uh, uh, gist behind the book. So. That's the new book that's coming out. Probably be out sometime in uh, sometime in 2018. I'm sure I'll be writing up writing this stuff. So, awesome. yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Scrap, for stopping uh, by. And I hate you couldn't answer all the questions, but you know, don't feel bad. Most people have uh, some for political. Well, reason, I mean, I feel like, you know, political. Yeah. Why are they political? Uh, I just the word I just thought of at the time. I couldn't think of nothing else to say. Really? Yeah, I don't do good with these interview things. Well, that's okay. Yeah. So you, we're not gonna get political. No. I hate politics. All right. Well, hey, let's go. Thanks for being here. Rick Diesel, backstage, Scrapyard Dog. We'll see you next time. Was Ladies. that not awesome? Ladies and gentlemen. Dude, was that not? I, I think I still got it. Don't I, you think I still got it? I it was have great. Said, have said for many shows now that I will not I mean, interview. Uh, uh, an interview is like landing a plane. Anyone you can walk away from is a win. I don't even know what this. You know, crash your plane. Is that what they say? Crash. Any landing you can walk away yeah. from is a win. So any interview you can walk away from is a win. Yeah. Right? And I'm That's surprised. That's hard. I'm surprised. Legs you like away. that, she can walk anywhere. Well, I'm surprised that you were house. able to walk walk away from that interview. Uh, What's wrong with that interview? It's a Reg, great interview. Reg, I, I don't even know what. I mean, you're the commissioner. You're supposed to be doing something about this. Well, you know, there is. I do have a boss. I mean, all I do, all I do, I'm a referee. Well, okay. I mean, I do have a boss as well. You know, we do have our general managers, but um, that was a great interview. I don't even know what to say. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back after this commercial break. All right, love this place. Hi, Mr. 
Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Naomi. ARWF's having an event in Mount Airy Saturday. Is there any way I can book the ARWF room? Absolutely. Ah. Well, it feels good in here. Nice AC. Always clean. Yes, come on. There you go, your room's all set. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anytime AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling comes anywhere near Hillsville, Virginia, there's only one place I stay, and that's at the Red Roof Inn in Hillsville, Virginia. I 77, exit 14. You can't beat it. It's the best $70 I've ever spent. I mean, come on, we get a free continental breakfast. Beautiful ladies like Naomi. And hey, the Red Roof Inn in Hillsville, Virginia is the official hotel of AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling. I'm going to go check in. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your AIWF World Cruiserweight Champion, Jeff X. And as you can see, you can tell a little difference in me tonight. I ain't no wrestling gear, I'm in pretty much street clothes. Because tonight, this nearly year-long rivalry that's been going on between myself and James Anthony ends tonight. James, I'll give you one thing. You're one of the best. You are the one of the very best that this business has to offer. You bring the very best out of Jeff X. I'll admit that. But you see, here's one thing. You're not Jeff X. I proved last month at Deal to Steel that I was the better cruiserweight, and I will do the same thing tonight. So tonight, James, I'm ready. I hope you are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling. What's happening? We're I, there ain't a whole lot going on in wrestling. Not, wrestling, not. no, but the uh, AIWF. I mean, a lot of people schedule. talk about how crappy Hell in the Cell was, so we won't talk about no. that. No, but AIWF is slamming balls on. to the wall. We got a lot going on. You we see the posters? There's a lot coming us? up. Now, uh, we're still, I mean, as of this taping, we're still focusing on Ivanhoe, but Atkins has happened. Yes. And, and, and uh, but then a whole lot happened at Atkins. I mean, not really. But the, the thing about Atkins is uh, the AIWF does that. But there is another promoter for the AIWF, so there's guys yes. that work on that show that don't work on the regular yes. shows. So uh, a lot of times, you know, we don't get a lot of footage from that show because of that. Yeah. I but mean, in the Mid Atlantic know. world, you know, we've got October 20th, which is Sam Crawley unpainted and unplugged at uh, RM Studios. Yeah. Be here for that. October 22nd, live. at 3 o'clock, live right studio here. audience for taping of the AIWF show. That's yes. going to be the talk of Rick wrestling Dave, for almost myself, three days. And the and Commissioner Mike Young does. We've got October 28th, uh, Fright, Night. Fright Night. So, I mean, it's it's <laughs> wide open. What else has been going on around this area, Mike? Well, you know, RM Promotions does a lot in our community. Uh, yes, since there's not a whole lot of wrestling going on, we'll talk about what he does. But, you know, just uh, just recently we had a chili cook-off up on Main Street in Hillsville, and there was there had to have been two, 3,000 people up there. I mean, it was amazing. And the chili, we had hot chili. We hot. had Oh. Don't say anything that rhymes. You mean with chili in a pot. Uh, you okay. got it's just chili. wording, man. Wording. It's all about wording. Um, because, as you see, his, uh, his hunger M obsession over here is... With m and <laughs> he can't make it through a 30 minute TV show without having a snack. But, you know, I mean, Chili Cook Off, amazing, amazing event. They do it every year. Yeah, I missed it, but I'll have to check it out next year. Yeah, definitely come down. Uh, well, they do. Of, I eat chili? Yeah. And, you know, speaking of. Is it free? Of, yeah. You get free chili? Yeah, it's all donuts. Why did you not tell me about this? Well, you know, speaking of chili, we got a special. No, I don't know why you didn't tell me there was free chili. Well, because <laughs> of. Because you showed up in your tie dye. And, yeah, I, I, and I, I ate you. well more than you should have. Yeah. We have a special because guest, tie -dye. Reggie. Yes. Chili tuba. Now, wait, 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 wait. listen, I got to do this, all right? I'm a huge fan of this guy. Okay. All right? He He's a recording artist. I've never met him. I, I've never met him. It don't met. matter. He's, he's a recording artist, artist and and he's just he's just... Dropped a new beat. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yeah. You, you can say it that way. Well, y'all back there. Is that how you say it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, he said yeah. He All said right. yeah, and he's like. So he just dropped a new beat. He's an up and coming hip hop rap artist. 
and he's awesome, and I've, I've really become a big fan of this, and that's why I'm eating these, because he has just dropped his new beat, his new track, and it's called Eminem and Trump. It's oh awesome. I'm telling you, the guy's going to be a huge star. I, I'm going to introduce him. We're going to go to this video. No. Here's his, ladies and gentlemen, here is his here to perform his latest video, Eminem and Trump. Give it up for Chili Two Beans. Donald Trump tweets from the White House. Eminem's words always melting in his mouth. Celebrities hate Trump and his followers. Because in the liberal BS, we're not wallowers. Eminem says you think like me, or you'll be a target. Wait and see. Trump's gonna build a wall, he's a jerk. So he can make all the Masons late for work. While Trump's putting world leaders on the spot. Eminem's jumping around in a parking lot. Cussing and a fight. Who's gonna win this battle of the titans? Word to your mama. Tell her I said hey. Hey, Joshua here. If you want to get strong and healthy like I do, then you need to check out Curse. Unlike traditional gyms, your Curves membership gives you the tools and the support you need to reach your goals. You will be able to get stronger toned muscles, lose weight, improve balance and stability, and make a healthy lifestyle change. Our unique 30-minute workouts combining strength training and cardio will leave you feeling the benefits long after class is over. What you're able to accomplish at Curves in 30 minutes will most likely take you 90 minutes at a traditional gym. Visit Curves in Whitfield today to see how Curves can help you set the stage for a healthier, more active lifestyle. Call them today at 276-223-1104 or visit them on Facebook at Curves Whitfield VA. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to AIWF Mid-Atlantic Grass. We're taking chili two beans. <laughs> Dude, he's going to be such a star someday. Oh, mm. Um... Yeah, he is gonna, going to change the face of hip hop. I, I, I can't wait to see uh, the the response that uh, that video gets. Beautiful. He's still marching Absolutely on the beautiful. <laughs> Apparently, so is Chili TV. Pierre comes around here. I mean, yeah, we. Hey, we I know I made it sound like he was live in the studio, studio, but we just debuted his video. But if Pierre comes around here. We could book, I'm praying for backstage we could book, passes. We could the women are going to be all over him. I just want a little of the, of the overflow. Hey, we talked to R&M Promotions. We might be able to book them in at the studio. Hey, there you go. But he's going to be way too big for this. Okay. Salem City Center. There you go. There, there you, you go. go. You can book him in Salem, Salem City Center. All right. You know, buddy. speaking of wrestling, and the Salem, Salem Civic Center, and I'm going to tie this in. You watch this. Is that like your tie? I'm listening to I'm going to tie this story. I'm going to tie the Salem, Salem Civic Center, okay. music, and wrestling all in together in this one statement. Right okay. You ready? Yeah. I went to see one of the worst concerts in my life at Salem Civic Center. Okay. I mean, years and years ago. It was horrible. I, I, I just, I sat on the, uh, uh, I sat in the back on a, some steps mm -hmm. and went up to the upper balcony and almost cried. And it was the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> God, it was bad. <laughs> 
Speaking of pumpkins. See how tied it all in together? Yes. And, Rest, and Billy Corgan, Billy Corgan NWA, 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 NWA. Yes, yes. And speaking of pumpkins, $50 pumpkin spice pumpkin facial spice. massage. Right here, you can text an appointment or go online at rnmpromoskin.com and book your appointment. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Our match. What? It's time for our match of the week. Match of the week. We you have. Are, you know, let me tell you something about this match of the week. Now, this. We talked a little a little while back about Liam Cross and this. Yes. Um, Kendo stick. Kendo stick. There are people who were in Ivanhoe already. No, yes. everybody about and, this. And, and after this match, everybody else will know. But after today, when this match shows, everybody's going to have a whole new outlook on the cruiserweight division. Yes, they are. They they are. are. And if you, unless you've been under a, a rock somewhere for the last couple of weeks, most people already know. And if you don't like rock, try, try Chili Two Beans. That's its latest hip hop star. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Our uh, cruiserweight huge. division has become like the top following thing. Right it now. has, it has, and I'm coach Jeff X. I wasn't gonna say Jeff X, but anyway, okay. so I was gonna say Liam Cross is that animosity <coughs> towards Jeff X. So you was gonna say Jeff X. I was yes, but and now after we, I said something about Liam Cross, and now we got Mickey Fulp. Fulp. We and got Mickey Fulp in the the mix. Yes. All right. Let's. Let's take a look at this match. James Anthony versus, versus Jeff, Jeff X for the AIWF World, World Cruiserweight title. You done good. Yes, he is. He is. He's AIWF Cruiserweight Champion. The former AIWF World Cruiserweight Champion from Long Island, New York. He is. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling. I'm joined as always by Commissioner Mike Young Gun and on? Rick Davis. James Anthony dressed like he's going to war. He is going to war. He's Street fight. Camouflage. Street fight. Ivanhoe, Virginia. And this match is, I mean, between the two guys that are in this match, I mean, a street fight is exactly what they need to boost up this rival they've had. And yeah. Jeff X going to make his way to the ring. Our AIWF Mid Atlantic World Cruiserweight Champion. Uh, actually, actually, well, he is not the AIWF Mid Atlantic World Cruiserweight Champion. He's the AIWF World, World Cruiserweight, Cruiserweight Champion. Champion. Mid Atlantic is an area within the AIWF. Jeff X is the world title, which encompasses all the 109 different That's wrestling series we have. And James Anthony. The AIWF Mid Atlantic Cruiserweight Champion. There, there, there you go. Yeah. See, there, you got that there, Rich. Versus, good. versus Jeff Banks, the AIWF World Cruiserweight Champion. Which makes the world title on the line because oh, exactly. it's, the, it's, the, it's exactly. the greater title exactly. or the higher title or the bigger title. I don't know. I covered all my bases. Uh, yeah, you have. <laughs> you have. And a street fight tonight here in Ivanhoe, made possible by Commissioner Young Guns. And ladies and gentlemen, that means that anything and everything is legal in this match. Even it's Jeff, Jeff X, Wiffle, bat, and basketball. And basketball. And that basketball does come into play. Yes, it does. And wow, is all I can say. And Jeff X has got such a following. Those Jeff Extras. They follow him everywhere he goes, and they are loud. He is Captain Facebook. Yes, he is. Mr. In Intensity himself. There is no time limit. There are no rules. And street fight. No time limit. So I can see Jeff X batting balls. <laughs> well, his balls got away from well. him. <laughs> his balls dropped. <laughs> man, oh, man. They set us up for this. You know yeah, yes, they did. Yeah. Okay. As long as everybody knows. And once again, we do have that wonderful Ivanhoe Fire Department camera angle on this. Yes, we do. I actually love being there, man. It was a great time. Those guys were amazing. The crowd was amazing. And thank you again, Ivanhoe, for having us. And we're underway. Jeff X almost broke his own back. I didn't start. Oh, 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 Whip it, whip it, punch him in the face. They, like they, when they said street fight, hey, they're swinging for the fences here. And these two came out looking to fight. They, they, they did. There's no, I mean. Off the ropes. 
close oh, line. Oh, no, I wouldn't have closed that. That was a punch in the forehead. About ripped well, his head off. Line. About ripped his head off. Jeff X is going right into the punching. And it's no DQ, so it's everything's legal. Now, that was your attempted clothesline. Yeah. And a back elbow. And a Lou Fez press. And there he goes again. Those punches to the head. Which, no, Steve Austin did not invent. <laughs> he did. That's why it's called a Lou Fez press. Oh, now they're outside. And no into the guardrail. Land. In no man's land. Yes. Into the guardrail. Into the ring post. Reggie, you gonna make it off the ring there? No, no. no. Into oh. the barrier. Well, you see how well the new barriers work? Yeah, they held the cruiserweight up. They did. Uh oh, suplex! Oh, attempted suplex on the floor. Reversed. Oh, oh. Reverse all it, to the concrete. No, sir, Reg Jeff X was able to pull it off. And that concrete is unforgiving. Yes, it is. Like my second wife. Oh, my. What? You never know what, always, you never know what Rick Beeson is going to say. But Back I, in the ring. I quit apologizing for him a long time ago. There's your, and a cover. cover. One, two, and a and kick. kick out by James Anthony. Suplex. A no. Kick. Back nice back suplex. Another cover. You're gonna call back body drop, would you? For a second, I will. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not. It's suplex. It's suplex. Or as Gordon Sully would say, vertical. A big old eye rake right there. Threw him across suplex. the ring. Suplex. Oh. Off the ropes. Back, back elbow. Up. Cover hey, by that one. one, two. two. Yeah, that was a nice pivot here for James Anthony, but see, he, with the, he's, he's already lost a lot of his strength in his back. Yeah, from he that ain't big, lost from that he, big suplex on the yes, outside. Yeah, but he didn't lose the strength in his arm. Did you see that? Knocked him halfway across the ring. Holy chop! One. We're just barely two. five minutes into this match, and both these men's done beat each other half to death. But that's what I like. See, that yeah. brings back a lot of memories. Yeah. yeah. And he's and a choke yeah. my second wife. And a reversal by Jeff X. Chops. Ripping the shirt off James Anthony. That kind of reminds me of my second wife, too. Um, what? Yeah, okay. Okay, back to the action here. Uh, and not to get into the days of second wife. You know, these stuff. two cruiserweights have really stepped up a lot. And I mean, they are bringing the action to the ring they are. every time they're in the ring. Oh, nice move by Jeff X. Yes. Look. And Jeff X on the move as usual. Jeff X flying around the ring like a frog. Yes, he is. He is. <laughs> a flying frog. That's, Jumping in a bubble. That's Mr. Intensity. And he's getting a basketball. Oh, he's pulling his ball out. And a wolf ball back. Right there, Beats! Right there, Beats! <laughs> could, you, could you imagine some midgets coming out with a wolf ball back? I've imagined that so many times, it's not even funny. Hey, 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 that would be hey, so hey. Funny. That, that, that's that dollar ninety nine a minute website. No, it's not. <laughs> now, what is he doing with this basketball? Rick in spare time. He has got it between James Anthony's oh, like, oh, oh, God. I can't watch this. Tom. Oh! oh, oh run by, oh, by Jeff oh, And the ball goes flying in the crowd. Oh. The basketball or James? I, I, take your pick. Hey, this kid's watching the show. I don't know why you gotta be so filthy all the time. And there's a cover. One, two, and a kick out. He was swinging for the fences. I think he hit something, but I don't think it was fence. I don't, I don't know. James Anthony going over into the corner and getting into his bag of tricks now. Jeff X pulling him back. Oh! oh some type of battle. Howdy. Oh my. Into the eyes of Jeff X. And Jeff is swinging, but not sure what he's swinging at. See, that was brilliant by James X. It was. Oh, he's got the wolf ball back. Oh, oh, right in the back. Yeah, if he had a midget. Reggie. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. Another. Oh. You know that's got to hurt. 
And you're sitting here watching all this firsthand, Reggie. Yes. And Ooh, right to the head. head. And yes, I was in there with Cover. Him. One, One, two, two. and you know, kick out by Jeff X. And you know, a lot of people may sit and think, oh, well, it's just a plastic wiffle bat. That can't hurt. Well, it all depends on where you hit somebody and how hard you hit them with. Yes. I've been hit with them things before, really and rough. they are not. Both men to the outside. They're it's back not in no man's land. James Anthony going under the ring. He's got a chair. chair. There. Oh, no. And he's back under the ring. Another chair. See, Jeff X is going to have to get himself together right now because if James Anthony's bringing these chairs out, he's got a plan that can do this thing right he does. now. But as you see, James Anthony doesn't give him time to recover. He takes a steel chair to the back. Good thing there was EMTs on site at this because, uh, yeah. Yeah. All draped over the guard room. Oh! And James Anthony brings him back over the guardrail the hard way. Onto the concrete floor. Tell you, I've watched a couple of street fights before, and this was probably the most brutal match I've ever this seen. This was a brutal match. There's the cover. One, two. Oh! So close, but a kick out by Jeff Hicks. Mr. Intensity isn't done. No. Well, I got to give Jeff X credit for yes for, ha for being able to reach down. And James Anthony has held this world title on numerous occasions. This is Jeff X's first time. End of the chair. chair. This is Jeff X's first time yes, holding the world title. So there's a lot of experience in James Anthony now. He's beat a lot of men to this title. He has. Oh, and a wiffle ball bat to the midsection of Jeff X. I think that's a little Added payback that. for the uh, for he the basketball look, shot there. He didn't look too happy about that. I don't. No. No. Thank, oh, what what is he doing? And oh, again to the no. midsection. See, now Jeff X is dishing out punishment now, and that's what he's got to do in a street fight. He's got to beat. Uh, and James Anthony's got to beat Jeff X yes. down. I mean, that's just, that's how you win a street yes, fight. God knows I've been in enough of this is, the night. He's that's choking. We had choking. 20 it's years ago. Yeah, it's legal. What fight. is it he's choking with, Reggie? He's part of his shirt. Oh, my God. But he won't give up. Well, and James Anthony, too, if you, if you think about it, he didn't want to win by it. Jeff X just passing out. Right. No. He didn't want to win on technicality. He wants to pin uh, a, a, a fully conscious Jeff X to the mat. One, two, three. Because then that way he's he's done something. He's proven himself. And a chair to his chest. Take out the ribs, take out the breath. That's right. And he's working he's hard. Again. Look, once again. Jeff is fighting back. He's just holding him there with it. And Jeff still yet is not giving up. Oh, he had a chair at the chest. Little by little, piece by piece. That's what James Anthony's doing. He's taking Jeff X apart piece by piece. And that's the experience of James Anthony versus Jeff X. Kick, Kick to the back, back of the, the head. head. Right kick off the road. Cover. One, two. two. Kick oh out again God. by Jeff X. He doesn't stop. He's got to reach down deep. Jeff X has got to reach down deep at this point. If he wants to hold this title, it's the biggest title of his career. Yes, it's it is. The, it's the highest rung of the ladder he has ever made. If he wants to stay there, then he's going to have oh. everything he's got. And that chair didn't give at all. No. No. Cover. Cover. One, two, two. and again, another kick. kick out by Jeff X. But you can see, you, I mean, you can see that he wants that title. He wants to keep he it. Does. He's not going to stay on the mat. But it comes down to who wants it more. That's right. And, you know, James Anthony has held held that title, so he knows what it means. Brutal fist by Jeff X. X fighting back. But he's still, I mean, look at the punishment he's took. So he, Ooh, and no a chair in the back. There's no way that he's got enough in him at this point where he can just 
come back like that on John James Anthony. And is, look at that. James Anthony taunting. taking a break here. He's, he's That's taunting. brilliant. He sets down, he takes a rest, while Jeff X is still just trying to get his composure back. There's that wolf ball, ball back. back. And the beating back. continues. You see a frustration in Jeff X's face. Mm. Ow. That was right in the lower right, back. Right there next to the paint. Yeah, yeah. And again with the wiffle ball bat. I bet he's regretting bringing that to the ring at this point. Probably, though. probably. Using the wiffle ball bat to choke him now. Cutting off that air. He still won't give up. I mean, the fans are getting into this so much. I mean, they yeah. were loud the entire match. What? James Position. He turned in the corner. This will not turn out well. No. no. Now, Rick Diesel, this is some of the kind of matches that you had back in the 90s yeah. where everything was it's anything. It's close. It's close. The, the and covered his face with his shirt. Vicious chop to the chest. Oh. It, in the 90s, we had a standing rule in AWF. Pretty much there were no rules. Mm -hmm. and, and But back then, that's the way the fans liked it. And and reversal up through out. Through the rope, into onto the concrete. Into the barrier. Yeah, I mean. So this is kind of like a throwback for you then. It's memory lane, huh? Well. I'll tell you what, throwbacks going to come on October 28th with some of the matches we're having at, yes. Uh, yes. at Fright Night. That's going to bring back some memories for Dick Rick Diesel, I promise you that. Stay away to hit me. I tell you what, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm, I'm a little worried about our wrestlers with that match. I mean, you got Sin Crawley. And Kevin Phoenix. The two count kick out by James Anthony. Well, with the beating that Jeff X has took, looks like he's, he's got to little... have to dish it out now. A lot more. Oh, into the ring ropes. ropes. Mm -hmm. He's got to reach down deep to be able to punish James Anthony enough for a pin that quick. Well, it looked like he was trying to get a little bit there for a minute and quickly taken away by that rope. He's digging in the bag. What's he got? Handcuffs? He's got handcuffs. Yes, he does. As long as he doesn't handcuff the ref for the ropes of the grip. Now, I wonder if he found those in Rick Diesel's bag. No, sir, I keep mine here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got, see, handcuffs now this is Jeff beautiful. X. To me, this is a work of genius. And he's, you handcuff Jeff X to the rope. He immobilize him and then let the let the fun begin. Yeah, he, I mean, he's got his choice of, of weapons. He's got a wiffle ball bat, chairs. What does he get? Fire. Fire! Oh my God! Oh man! Burn him, James! Come on! He's trying to keep him off. Jeff's trying, Jeff's trying to keep him off of him. Oh, kick to the midsection. But he's still got oh, that another one. Hand. Whoa, whoa, he breaks out of the handcuffs. He hits Gary to the back of the head. Jeff X. That's the, like a wolf gnawing his own leg off to get out of a trap. Yeah. He broke out of that trap out of desperation. He and he kicked to the head. head. Now he's got the fire. We've had everything this match, chairs, fire, baby and, you know, You can see the look in their eyes. They are really trying to end each other they in are. this match. We've had everything but midgets. Mm -hmm. They have, these two have had this, this thing going on for some time over these belts. They have. James yeah. Anthony and, and Jeff X have had, the, the Mid-Atlantic Cruiserweight title is where mm. it started. And now it's grew into a world issue. It has. Covered by James Flat Anthony. out. One, two, two. and a kick. Oh, he kicked out of it. At the last second, kicked out. That was true desperation. But Jeff X still got a little bit of fight in But not too long ago, these two were tag team partners. Yeah. They tagged against TNT. The middle tag team champion. Curb stomp. 
Well, I can tell you from Cover. experience, it's something I went through with, Kick with out Brian the Danzig a long time ago. Some of the most brutal feuds come out of former friendships. Yes, they do. That Back in the 90s, Brian Danzig and myself nearly killed each other. That gold in your eye does something. Jeff X going up top. And a miss. Both men down. James in trying to get shirt off. Oh, Kick to the, the shin. Head. What do they call it? What do you call it? Sweet shin music. Yeah, sweet right shin to the music. face. You couldn't say that the cotton heel even had any shin. And whoa, 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 whoa. Out of nowhere. Oh, with that stick. Oh, that stick. That stick. Ooh, oh. to the back. Liam Cross and that stick have made nothing but trouble in AIWF now for a couple months. Yes. He is on a mission. He is. Ooh, and he breaks the kendo stick, courtesy of Jeff X's back. Now, for those of you who've seen the injuries after this match on the internet to Jeff X, now you're witnessing firsthand where all that came yes. from. Yes, yes. Wolfle ball back yeah, to the head of Liam Cross. James Anthony's got his eyes on the prize and he will take out anybody. Oh. And he is just James Anthony's going crazy. Well, James Anthony also knows that that Liam Cross is ruining his shot at he that is. world title yeah. right here. Yeah. James Anthony checking on Jeff Anthony. Oh, oh, to the head. To the head. Put him out. James Anthony is not moving. Jeff X is in a fetal position in the corner, and Liam Cross is dominating these two guys here in Ivanhoe. That's it. That's it. That's it right no there. No response from either man. Match is over. Jeff X retains the title. Liam Cross has ended this match. He has, but it's a street fight. It's nothing you can do. The, the brutal attack from Liam Cross uh, has just has rendered both men unable to continue the match. But Liam Cross has his eyes on the same prize that James Anthony has. Oh, yeah. As well. And, you know, it's no secret that Liam wants that goal. Yes, and it's no... <laughs> this worked out good for him. It's but. no secret that Liam Cross blames Jeff X for a lot of a lot of opportunities that he didn't get that Jeff X got. Yeah. Well, and if I had to face... I, if I was Liam Cross and I was hoping that someday I would have to face one of these two men in the ring, then what I would be, then I would choose Jeff X over James Anthony for simple fact of lack of experience. Yeah, because Jeff X has only, only been. An, oh, what? What, what is he doing in there? What is he doing? And he's got his. Oh, he's pig. got the pig. He's, he's got, got the oh, pig. He has got the pig. He is getting ready to get him a world title. Oh, oh no, Liam Cross, standing in the way of that world title. Liam Cross is casting, he's casting it in. He's taking Jeff X out of the equation. And he's cashing in on James Anthony. Mickey Fump is cashing in the pig on, on James, James Anthony. Anthony. And the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Cruiserweight cruiser uh, And the bell is rung. It is an official a, match. It is. For the title. There's the cover. One, two, three. Mickey, we have a new AIWF Mid-Atlantic Cruiserweight Champion. Mickey Fump. And, you know, just for the record, Mickey Fulp is crazy. Yes. He, he is insane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. What did we just witness? We, we just have. witnessed the worst street fight I have ever seen. Those two guys put it down, and then out Liam of nowhere, Cross, Liam I'm telling Cross, you, man, that, that everything changed when Liam, on that night yes. at Ivanhoe. Everything changed. Thanks to Liam Cross and Mickey Fault. He had his. Yes. He cashed in the, the pig. pig. But he cashed it in. He sat back. He ca as young competitor Mickey Fault is, he used his head. He yeah. cashed it in at the right time. And he, right. It was obvious he was going for that world title, but Liam he Cross was. Liam Cross. Yeah. 
No, yeah, was Liam Mickey Cross. Didn't want nothing to do with that kendo stick. His Liam's eyes is all on Jeff X. Yeah, and he blames Jeff X for a lot of stuff. But like I said, brutal, brutal match. And, and now you know it, it's already been announced on Facebook. For those of you who do not know, um, it's Liam Cross versus Jeff X yes. in a kendo stick on a pole match yes. at Fright Night on the twenty eighth in Mount Airy at Veterans Park. Yes, kendo stick on a pole. That's gonna hurt. Whoever it's gonna be gets, brutal, and, and can I can't wait. It. That's that's yeah, wow. I like to watch little skinny kids beat each other up and stuff. And I'm that's telling you, those two, those two don't pull no punches, man. They they put it to each other. It's, yes. it's gonna be like it's gonna be like two sticks beating each other with a stick. Oh my god! <laughs> what? I, two I, sticks I beating each other. I, I, but anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on AIWF Mid Atlantic. Hey, Rice. hey, and don't forget, coming soon to your town, all right? Chili Two Beans. I can't talk about this guy enough. And and and, and for you video lovers out there, be sure to watch him because it ain't gonna be long. I'm sure that video is gonna be dropping on MTV and that Bet Network. Do they? Does MTV still do videos? I don't know, but uh, but they uh, hip hop, so they'll have it on what is uh, MTV. And it's VH1. Oh, okay, VH1 and the Bet Network. Bet Network. Bet Network. Bet Network. Network. What is Bet Network? Well, I don't watch it, but it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot of hip-hop a, stuff on it. What is a Bet Network? Are, are they doing, like, auctions or something? No. Bet. B-E-T. Yeah, Bet Network. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. When I first saw it, I thought, I thought it was about gambling, but... Anyway, it's October twenty second, live you studio. It, you audience. can't make it out of Colorado. Right. How are you gonna get to Las Vegas? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Well, according to that Jake Gomez guys, I damn sure don't need to be going to Puerto Rico. <laughs> 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 Sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our show. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you October twenty second, live studio audience, right here in the RM Studios. It. 43 Cervantes Highway, Hillsville, Virginia, 24343. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Two beans!